When you're van lifing in a province like Ontario, Canada, the land of 250,000 lakes, well, it ain't gonna be hard for you to find an amazing place to call home, Lakeside. So we left Kenora, Ontario this morning and we took side road after side road, looking for that perfect lake spot and we found it here. Name of this lake, I don't know. There's so many lakes around here. Do all 250,000 lakes here on Ontario have names? Does anybody know? Cause that'd be just nuts. Anyway, while we're parked here in this beautiful spot, I thought today we would talk to you about tools that you need in your van in order to survive van life. So let's go back to the van, rip all of my tools out of it and take a look and talk to you guys about what's important and what's not. Whether you know how to use a tool or not, I think you should keep at least a decent tool set in your van, whether you know how to turn a wrench or not. Because you never know when you're traveling down the road on your travels, you break down on the side of the road and your repair could be done if you just had general tools with you. That doesn't mean that you have to do the repair yourself, but what if someone pulls over to help you out and they're like, man, if we just had a socket set, we could get you back on the road. And if you always kept your home equipped with the basics, like, like the stuff I'm gonna show you in today's video, then you will at least have all the tools you need to possibly keep yourself going in a situation where your van is broke down. I also wanna cover some tools that I think are excellent to keep in your van because you never know down the line when you're gonna to wanna to do a home renovation and you're parked somewhere beautiful like we are today and you just wished you had a power tool. So let's dive into the very basic thing that every van needs. This thing's actually pretty heavy. Okay, when you buy your van, hopefully your van is going to have a tire iron. This is the tool for those you don't know that takes the bolts off your tires and allows you to change a tire. Take a look inside of the vans that you are buying to make sure it is equipped with the right tools to get you unstuck if your tire is blown on the side of the road. My van didn't have that luxury. So I had to go out and buy myself this multiple tire iron, which believe it or not, I think comes in greatly handy because you never know when you're gonna help somebody on the side of the road like I did with a girl who never had the right tools to change her tire. Thankfully, I had this one, which has multiple ends to fit multiple bolts on multiple vehicles. So my van also didn't have a tire jack. So I went out to Canadian Tire here and I bought this, whatever brand that is, Motomaster. I think that's the brand for the local Canadian Tire store out here. And I bought a bottle jack, which is the same one that's supposed to come in my van, but when I bought it, didn't have that. Didn't even have a spare tire when I bought mine. But pick yourself up the tools that you're gonna need. And keep in mind, if your van has one of these, and you bought your van and it's had a little bit of a customization like a couple inch lift kit the one you have in your van might not work on your vehicle anymore so remember that too if your van has been lifted at all you might want to buy yourself like one of those high lift high height jacks i don't know what they're called i'm sure somebody in the comments will correct me on that one but make sure you always have these two items well and the spare tire I picked this little roadside emergency kit up when I very first moved into the van. I have never used it yet. I've been in my van for two years just about and this thing has never come out, not even once. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside of it. I think this thing cost me $40. I don't know where I got it, but I'll try to find one that's equivalent to this in my Amazon links and throw them in the video here. But uh, this is pretty cool. It's got, let's open it. These kits actually come pretty well equipped. It's got jumper cables because everybody's gonna need to keep jumper cables in your van. If you don't have them, you're gonna fail. But uh, a little suggestion for me, is it a long, this is a really, really long set of jumper cables. Like they're freaking ginormous. My suggestion is try to find these kits with a super long jumper cable just in case you have a deep cycle battery inside of your van that's capable of jump starting your van. So for me, because I have a uh, 105 amp hour deep cycle battery that charges off my alternator while I drive, this, believe it or not, 
makes it from my deep cycle battery to my starter battery in my van, meaning that I can jump start myself. Before you even think about doing that, make sure that the battery you have in your van, it's safe to do that with because you can destroy your in-house deep cycle battery. So do your research on the battery that you have, but having jumper cables are mandatory. And these little kits are awesome because not only does it come with jumper cables, also comes with a safety vest. So when you're outside, you can pop on the safety vest, which is pretty freaking cool. This one comes with, I love this. You know those little danger triangles? Well, it's the little reflective ones. It's got suction cups. So you can pop this on the back of your van, pop it on your hood, or even if you want, you could pop this on the side of the road. So when cars are coming at night, this thing will kick on some reflection and let everybody know, hold on a second, somebody's broken down. It'll help keep you just a little bit safer. And they're pretty cool because they just, they fold right down. The little pouch on this one unfolds a little bit farther. Inside here is a little rain poncho. Ugh. A rain poncho just in case it's raining. And also a set of rubberized gloves so you don't get your hands dirty. And or if you're doing something a little bit more mechanical, it'll help you get a little bit more of a grip on it. And on this side is just your general repair kit. You have an X-Acto knife, duct tape, and a fleece blanket just in case you ever get stuck on the side of the road and you get cold, you got a way to keep yourself warm. These kits are pretty awesome and um, yeah, I'll try to find one exactly like this one on Amazon. That way you guys have got a little thing, but these were super cheap, like 40 bucks. Now that we got all the safety stuff out of the way and taken care of, I think those things are just a no brainer to pick up. And I suggest if you guys haven't started van life yet, start grabbing some of those things now because it'll make them move into the van a lot cheaper when that day comes, when you've already spent 50 bucks on this and 100 on that just makes the whole starting process so much more simpler when you can slowly start banging some of these things that you're gonna need anyway out now before you get started. So let's dive into some of the bigger items that I think are a complete necessity. Sure, this big huge socket set and multi blah 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 thing, I'm not a mechanic guy, so I don't know anything about this stuff. I just do know that the brand Stanley is a very big brand and it says professional grade right on it. These things are usually like 400 bucks, but if you keep an eye out, these things drop in price all the time. Like you'll see them up there for like four or 500 bucks and then all of a sudden one week they're on for $99. And that's what I did with this one. I scored this one at 99 bucks, but having a big set like this, it's pretty small. Like it's the size of a small briefcase. But having a set with so many options like this opens up your options when you happen to get stuck and you do have a mechanic that pops by just by fluke happens to pull over and say hey what's going on and then he's like i wish i had my tools you're like hold on a second look what i've got and you open this thing up and he's like whoa, whoa this is everything i am ever gonna need to do the repair on your van right here roadside this kit cost me, I think it was about a hundred bucks or whatever it was, but it's got all the wrenches and sockets and drill bit sizes and it's pretty awesome. I highly suggest you go a tiny bit overboard when it comes to buying this one. Cause if you end up buying just the small kit for like 30 bucks, when you do get stuck and you need like little elbows and extensions, it's good to just spend the tiny bit extra and grab something like this. I know some of you aren't into like mechanical things and neither am I, but I know you guys have a junk drawer at home somewhere with a bunch of miscellaneous things like a few screwdrivers, pair of scissors, maybe a pair of vice grips, pliers, and a bunch of other little things. I have those same things too and a little thing in the back of my van. I grabbed all the stuff from my apartment that was in my junk drawer that I might need for like tightening up a door frame or anything like that but a good multiple screwdriver and little things like that always bring them from your home and huck them in a junk drawer in your van because they will come in handy as well. I didn't bring them out here, but I'm sure you guys know what a general multi-bit screwdriver looks like and yeah. Ugh. This next one, <laughs> this might be a little bit overkill, but I think this next one is a pretty cool addition to any van, no matter who you are. Whether you know how to use a power tool or not, I think having this in your van is going to come in super handy, if not for you, for somebody else you bump into on your travels that really could just use a power tool. You're like, hey, hold on a second. 
Here we go. Boom. One bag full of power tools. Knock yourself up. Have fun. I'm going to go crack your beer. So I picked up this, I think it's a good nine piece kit from Home Depot. Ugh. There's multiple branded companies that did it. I got this one because it was on sale. It's a Rayobi. But Home Depot has lots of options or any other store you can get. Or just go on Amazon, buy the cheap China ones. But look at this, a whole bag of freaking power tools. So if you ever need to do a home renovation, whoo, I got the tools. Battery, uh, skill saw. Because if I ever want to do any home renovations or I bump into another van life that's like, oh, hey, I need to do some home renovations. Bang, I got exactly what you need right here. I've used this already. I actually lent a guy on the beach in Vancouver who was hand sawing a bunch of wood making a bed frame. I'm like, hold on a second. Went back to my van, brought the big bag out. He's like, no way. I'm like, it's got four batteries and all four batteries are fully charged up so you're good. And he went and used this thing. Right? And got the job done. <laughs> Super cool. I only got the small batteries, but they make the big, huge, they're like four times bigger than this one. But having stuff like this, it's just awesome. There's no blade in it, but a little jigsaw. I got blades in the bag. So if I'm ever around somewhere, someone's like, hey man, I really need to cut a hole in my roof of my van to put a roof vent in. You got it. It's got a little impact gun if you're ever fighting with a bolt that just needs to be shaken off. You got it. Also, a cordless drill. This is one tool that every van must have. If you're not going to go out and buy like a big kit like I've got, definitely get yourself a cordless drill because this thing will come in super, super handy. And it's fun too. Not all the kits you buy are gonna be hardcore like this one, but mm, this one's got a grinder. And as you can tell, I used it when we were doing a little bit of rust repair on the van. Might be a bit overkill, but I got a grinder. And most of the kits come with things like flashlights, vacuums, and all sorts of other things. You can also get, which I plan on picking up for this set, you can also get the tire inflator ones. They're like a little compressor. You pop the little battery on it, mm, and you can fill up the tires in your van, which I think is a definite convenient. I'm gonna pick one up. I think the addition for those uh, tire inflators are like 35 bucks or something like that, and so worth it. But um, yeah, grab yourself some of this stuff. I think for anything, having this stuff in your van, even though it takes up about the size of a small box, it's just that little rest assurance that that day you're like, oh, I really wish I had a jigsaw. You're like, hold on a second. My house has all the tools that my home is ever going to need. People buy this stuff for their homes. Then why shouldn't we buy these things for our homes? Chromie, you look freaking silly. A little headlamp always comes in handy because what if you're underneath your van or you're looking for something? Get yourself a little headlamp. Cool, it kind of curves down. You can see what you're doing without the need of a flashlight. And they're just convenient and, well, they're not so cool, but whatever. You kind of get the... Off? Okay, you get the point. Other little tools to have is like a multi-screwdriver, wrenches, like adjustable wrench, maybe a pair of pliers and stuff. Another little thing I have, which not everybody kind of needs. Bought myself a little soldering iron kit because you never know when you have an electrical issue or something like that. You need to make a quick solder connection. It was so cheap on Amazon. I know taking in all of this information from my channel and other people's channels and it's like all oh, this stuff is so expensive. All these things that I'm going to need. Honestly, guys, keep it very simple and very basic. All of the stuff I showed you today, I didn't have in my van when I started. I slowly picked up things along the way as I could afford it. And that's all I'm telling you guys, dude. Keep it so simple. Don't get confused with what all these other people say that these are must-haves. Roof and batteries, solar, and now me, I'm Chromie's telling you about all these tools. You don't need it all to start. But my suggestion is if you plan on adding this stuff to your van at some point, grab the little tiny little $50, $25, $100 things here and there. That way, when you get your van, you're going to be ready to rock and roll and go. 
Because a lot of times when it comes starting something, you're like, okay, I bought my van, now what? I gotta spend how many thousands and thousands of dollars to build it? Where if you would have bought a $100 tool kit, $50 jumper, jumper cable kit, maybe a couple hundred dollar power tool kit, a few hundred dollar roof fan, and accumulated these things over, you know, six months or a year period before you got your van. That way when you got it, you're like, all right, I already got half the stuff that I need. Just a little suggestion from me to you, keep things very simple, but always keep the necessities you're gonna need in your van just in case a repair happens. Sure, I might have gone a little overboard, but I feel really good to know that I've got the tools not only to help me out, but to help someone else if I ever bump into them down the line. So if you're ever sitting in a parking lot beside me and you got a roof vent in your van and you want it to be popped in, I ain't doing the work, but I'll definitely give you the tools to do it. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe and say hello to everybody in the comments. We're in one great, big, weird, lovable family here. And come on over and visit us on Patreon because it's a whole lot of fun. All right, you guys, see you later.